So welcome back to my channel here and this is me again back to Far Cry 5 uh, for deadlifts this time around and this is the first warm up fight repetition to 60kg where I am a bit struggling because I'm thinking so hard about keeping my form correct and keeping my back straight so you know that is why I have such a little silly face. And here we go with 100kgs also for 5 reps same thing applies, you know, just trying to get a proper, proper form in there and concentrate uh, on the form breakdowns I usually have and which we come to a bit later in the video. So here we have the last set of warm up, that's 120 kgs, one time pull. Now here I focused actually on speed, that is just, you know, just in between sets before it started the working set to have not too much of a gap. And here we are, belt is on and we are going for the first set of 145 kg and you see here over under grip you know get it all in place roll it in a bit and then take a deep breath and go up and here you see like you know one of my problems is that i'm actually jerking the weight a bit and also that i have a bit more strength in my right hemisphere compared to my left hemisphere so it is a bit wonky going up and that was the first five repetitions now here you see the second set, again setting up here, you know, to do the pull for a conventional deadlift. Also you see that my feet are pointing slightly outwards, that is actually a tip I got from Ed Cohn from Super Training 06, so thank you for the videos guys over there, because um, I'm not using actually a complete parallel stance anymore, and I saw some, and I feel also some good strength development out of that. Now here we go for the third set, still on a 145 kg and you see I'm struggling already a bit more, we're getting the reps in, I already talked about the right side being a bit stronger than the left and what you will also see here, I have to stop and then just readjust the grip a bit for the last rep and you will see that also in this set. So that already tells me that the form is also breaking down somewhere in my grip strength when I'm doing more repetitions. So that is something to be considered for the next cycle when I'm doing accessory work, you know, building in some grip strength movements there um, so that I don't lose the bar anymore. And here you see, you know, last two reps had to readjust. There we go, fifth one. And then we go here for the last set. Yeah, well, the guy is in the in the in the background having a bit of banter, but you know that's just how it is. And there we go. Up we go. Also, see that I'm actually fully extended, bringing my hips a bit forward. Um, I'm also not looking at the ceiling anymore, which I used to do which is also a type of bad form, which I fixed out of some of the CrossFit videos. So they're actually doing a good job of explaining that. Why is that? A, that is a shitty thing to do. And there's the last set. Now here, some ridiculous split squats. There you can see how inflexible I actually am. You know, I, I mean, I look a bit like a sitting duck right there. Um, I mean, I get a good pump out of that, you know, for my upper leg. Um, and also the challenge I'm facing here is that actually my, um, you know, my ligaments in the lower parts of my leg, they are quite shortened because um, I had inlays when I was younger and, you know, this is just like hunting me now um, when I'm doing my powerlifting and exercises around the squat and the deadlift that I'm just so inflexible in the lower part of my body, um, really a pain in the neck. Um, I do a lot of stretching, but still though I'm not making a lot of progress there, I think that is really something that just takes a lot of time and patience and yeah, it just annoys the heck out of me, but I have to fix it. So then we got some glute ham raises here with 10 kgs. Um, that actually goes quite well, um, 10 repetitions here. Um, same also actually goes for the, uh, for the split squat, that is also 10 repetitions each side for four sets. Here for the GHD races, same thing, four sets, a 10 repetitions with 10 kg, you know, just to make it a bit harder. Um, I mean, you can also leave out uh, the dumbbell if you want to, you know, just to get a bit more of an explosive movement there. Um, I'm currently just choosing here to take the 10 kgs extra 
because otherwise it's really just not challenging enough for my tastes but you know up to you how you want to mix it up um, also there's a little lead leaderboard there I'm actually on there for uh, for the bench press in our gym for 135 kg so I mean that is okay wh you know compared to what other youtubers do um, I mean that is just a joke but you know we're getting there like working on it and then we got sit-ups here with a medicine ball now what I like to do here to make it a bit more challenging is I just go into static mode if you so may speak and until the medicine ball actually slightly touches the ground and once it touches the ground then I just try to contract as fast as possible to get the arms and the legs together in the middle and to and to try and extend out back again also here four by ten sets as uh, yeah four by ten in sets um you know just to round the thing up and um then we are going to the next exercise movement ex accessory movement which is the triceps extensions um or serrano triceps extensions that is how they put it on my paper i don't know where the serrano comes from maybe from serrano ham or you know if, if if somebody knows you know please leave a comment below uh, i'm always willing to learn so basically what you're doing you're hyper extending from at your back you know as you can see here and you're rotating the dumbbells so that you're actually attacking all of the parts of the tricep by slightly varying the movement by uh, turning it inwards and outwards. 